arrived in Springfield, if you're coming on a Greyhound, you're going to end up at this Greyhound bus station. So you'll get off the bus over here, you'll come pick up your stuff, and then you will call the number that your recruiter gave you to get a shuttle ride from this bus station back to the Campus Inn Hotel. Twisted. All right, this is the Campus Inn. This is where you're gonna start your orientation. This is the place that you're gonna stay. I'm gonna show you in this video, hotel room. I'm gonna show you some of the classrooms that you will be having classes in. But this is the first spot that you're gonna show up. You're gonna go inside this building and check in at the desk. So this is the lobby of the Campus Inn and this is where you're going to check in to get your room key and you will also be given an envelope with your paperwork and a schedule to follow in a map of the Campus Inn so you will know where to go. This is the inside of the C4 classroom. Your first day of orientation, you will be in this classroom at the time that they give you. At that time, you're going to go come sit down in this room. Do not be late. If you're late, odds are they're going to talk to you about sending you home. So make sure you're on time. You will get your the rest of your paperwork. They will give you a meal card at that time, a meal card. That way you don't have to pay for your food. You can spend a certain amount. They will tell you the amounts in the class, how much you're allowed to spend, how much you're not allowed to spend. If you go over that amount, you will have to come out of your own pocket for that. You will also be given the ske your schedule for the entire week. What time your simulator class is, what time you need to be here. A lot of good information there. They will also, by now you would have your application filled out because you got it at the front desk. That day you filled it out. You're going to need that to turn it into the orientation room to go through an interview process. Also in this room you will be able to do your CBTs. So they're going to give you a lot of CBTs as computer based training. You will be using the computers to watch the videos and then you're going to have a test at the end of them. You have to watch these videos in full and answer the test and pass the test at the end of the videos. simulator class that's where you get to get onto a simulator of a truck the simulator is to be taken real serious it's going to put you in different scenarios like weather snow rain all kinds of things like that you will also be able to get a feel of how a truck is and get the basics of driving the truck and at the end of the simulator class you will be tested Excellent. on your skills wow. you picked up This is the room that you're going to be in waiting to go back with your application. They're going to have you wait in this room with your application that you filled out the night before. This happens on your first day of orientation. You're going to take your application with your work history and all that, all your information on it. You're going to take it back to a room and sit down with a person to actually interview you and go through your application and make sure all your information is correct. All right, this is the cafeteria. It's where you can get your meals and use your meal card. All right, so at the campus, we have the shuttles that will take you places, like if you need to go to the DMV for any reason, if you need to go to the airport, bus station, whatever, you have the shuttle here. It will take you, you meet it right here in the courtyard of the campus. 
Also, it will take you and drop you off at Walmart. You will be able to be picked up at Walmart to be brought back over here. Now, Walmart is not far from the campus. Walmart's about three blocks from the campus, so it's not even very far. You just come out the front of the campus, you turn left, you walk straight down, and you'll see Walmart. So it's not very far if you need to walk over there, pick up some, some cleaning supplies, pick up food. At the campus inn, they also have laundry. So your wa to wash is going to be a dollar twenty-five, and to dry is going to be a dollar twenty-five. And they also have like soaps and detergents and fabric softener stuff for seventy-five cents each. This is the campus parking lot out here. They got spots the size for bobtails, and this is the building. This is one of the courtyards. So we're going to go inside check out a room. So this is a standard room at the campus inn. You're going to have a bed for you and then your roommate's going to have another bed. Yes, you're going to get a roommate. If you come over here, we have a TV. We also have a microwave and a refrigerator in most rooms. If you're lucky, you have both. If you're unlucky, you might have one. There's also a drawer here. Got you a nice desk with the high quality ice bucket, just like your normal hotel. Got you some coffee. And then also, ironing board for whenever you want to iron out your pajamas or your, um, your basketball shorts. Got you an iron here. And then you have the, the shower. Normal with a bathtub, shower bathtub combo, shower curtain, some towels, and a sink. Make sure that you're being courteous to your roommate. Half of this stuff is yours, half's for your roommate. So don't take your roommate's towel, put it down on the floor so you can step on it and you dry off with the last towel. It's going to cause issues. But this is the standard room size at the campus. <laughs> Still enjoying the great content? Click that next video right there to keep yourself informed. Knowledge is power. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to every video. Also, make sure that you're dropping that referral code on that driver application, C-O-X-D-J-O.